Welcome to another episode of the Rock Life Podcast. Pastor Antonio here, and we are grateful that you're tuning in with us today. I'm here with Reverend Larry and Dr. Vanessa again. We are, uh, we've had great conversations so far. We're going to continue our conversation. One of the things I can think of is that in our society, in our culture today, we often hear, it almost seems like there's a fascination with the idea of being self-made. A self-made man, a self-made woman, a self-made millionaire, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. And in a lot of ways, you can look at some of your testimony and say, yeah, I started from the bottom, right? Or I, I had some of these challenges and I had to overcome this, this, and that. But again, if you're paying close attention, all that comes out of your mouth was your reliance on Christ. Now, along the way, wh where did this really click in for you? From Dr. Vanessa, we heard uh, she got born again. But even just hearing, where did you get so spirit-filled? Where did you just get so filled with the Word of God, uh, Reverend Larry? I think for me, when I, as I was growing up, I was fortunate enough to be, you know, a small town in Oregon, Corrales, Oregon, I don't know, 40,000 people. It was a college town, but there's a real close-knit group of athletes. They were all very, very successful. Most of them, a lot of them went on to play professionally, not just collegially. Mm -hmm. But there was a guy named Dave Roberts, uh, Gary Beck, my brother Don, the Roberts family. These guys were part of the fellowship of Christian athletes. So they were about five or six years ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And my brother Don was very involved in the FCA. Uh, he was All-American running back the whole bit. So we looked up to him and He's in the University of Oregon Hall of Fame in football right now. So when he was in high school setting records, these guys went to Fellowship of Christian Athletes every Tuesday or Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. And we began to, what, what's this? So they were getting practical knowledge, practical biblical understanding that they could apply their life as a high schooler. And that led on to later on. So as I looked up to them, I started going to Fellowship of Christian Athletes, FCA. And uh, I remember Jim Dort, who was a teacher from years back, had, had a huge influence. We'd go to his house every Wednesday or Thursday night, and he would just do a practical Bible study. And so it was outside of my church circle that we were still ongoing with uh, understanding biblical principles and, and the Word of God. So it was a very practical setting, and uh, it was just a consistency in, our, in my life that I, I was always fortunate enough to be around Somebody had the Word of God on, uh, and so most of these guys are all very close to us to this day. And you were spirit-filled, also. I think with me, I, I already explained, you know, my experience in accepting Christ, and um, Sister McIntyre from that church, who was my mentor. And I think the big thing is that even though she was attending a Baptist church that didn't really believe in the gifts, she, because of our closeness, she told me to go to Fred Price Church so I could get a power to overcome what I was going through. Uh -huh. So she took me to um, Fred Price Church and I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit there. And as I, um, and it changed me, mm -hmm. you know, it changed my life, it changed my faith. And then she had sickle cell anemia. And that's a disease that usually with um, black people, you only live uh, to be 30 or 40 years old. Um, you know, your, your kidneys, uh, because of the sickle red blood cells in there, um, they go first and you suffer uh, a lot of strokes and this kind of thing because the blood doesn't flow um, well. And she uh, just, her, every day that I talked to her, she said, I'm healed by Jesus stripes. And she, we went to her funeral, and she died at, I think she was 65, mm -hmm. which was way beating all the odds mm -hmm. for that disease. Yeah. And seeing her strength and battling that disease her whole life and just saying she was healed and she didn't have any attacks or anything, it just strengthened me. You know, so that, uh, receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit and watching her, uh, her faith, that's what had me just so spiritually in tune to God and wanting more and more and more of Him. 